I know what you're thinking. RJ, really? Low punny? Yes! And I'm not ashamed of it. I love low punny, I love the design, and Veneer is even cuter. I don't care how down bad that makes me look, but since you clicked this video, you must like low punny as well. Or you're just here to see how down bad I really am. Either way, you're in for a treat, as today we're trying to complete Pokemon Infinite Fusion on randomized hard mode using only low punny fusion. Today, we're finally jumping into the world of infinite fusions, but as a degenerate. Yes, that's right. I'm committing the complete sin of uh, doing a low punny only run. So, I named my rival Jules, and it's here we get to pick our starter Pokemon. The Pokemon that will fuse with our first Baneri. Of course I go for Dragonite, and Jules, our rival, actually gets to fuse the other two Pokemon together, and instantly we're thrown into a battle. However, a couple of twists is later, and Crocoplup goes down, which means we can go and fuse our Buneary together with Dragonite. Will it be hot though? It's not low punny yet, so... Aww. Okay, well, it, um, it's, um, it's something. Let's do Runaway. Plus speed is probably good, right? Kangaskiri? Would that be... Kangaskar? Jesus! Dragoneary. Dra Dragoriri. I feel like Dragoneary would have been cooler. Oh, Pokédex. Sweet, sweet. 175,000 species of fused Pokémon. That's insane. All right, so our first encounter with... I think it was only Kangaskhan we, we saw here. Is going to be our... Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess it's Rhydon. Pokéball, go! We need Rhydon in the team. Ryd... Imagine riding on Lupani. But in order to fuse Pokemon together, we of course need DNA splices. Zoroark? Gift Zoroark and Lopunny? Okay, the Pokemon are being fused. Okay, that's not too ugly. Let's see, let's see. We've got to also stay tuned for the actual Lopunny variation of it as well. Whoa! What? That's crazy! Zoeri! Uh, we'll give it illusion because that's cool. All right, and on route to Kling Clang. Okay, nine Pokeballs. Kling Clang, come on! Let's go! Kling Clang! Oh, okay. Kling Kiri. That's all right. I don't mind that. It's kind of cute. Smash. Well, after fusing those Pokemon together, we head up towards Pewter City and Gym 1. Hello, Brock. I'm Pewter City's gym leader. I believe in dark, hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the dark type. Oh, you can only pick a certain amount. Okay. Well, in that case, I think Ryiri, Dragiri. Oh, you can only bring two. Oh, okay. Well, then in that case, I'll just bring my two level 12s, right? All right, Brock. Put them up. Put those dark types up. Let's see what you got. Spiritual. Grottle Spiritum. Interesting. Well, at least it's grass moves aren't going to be super effective against me. How much does Twister do? A crit and half. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's really good. Okay, so one more Twister and we take out Spiritual. That is a... That is demonic. Madile. Maril Sandile? Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. His Pokemon is 14. I thought it was 12. Well, uh, that was an easy first gym, wasn't it? Now we make our way through Mount Moon and arrive in Cerulean City, where of course Jules wants to fight us. He leads with Nidorhorn and I lead with Klinkiri. We manage to get it quite low with a gear grind, but he heals it back up. We do eventually take it out the next turn with another gear grind and in comes Why Not, who does insane damage to us. And then we can't switch out Klinkiri because the thing has Shadow Tag. So we just have to pray. Thankfully, we take it out and out comes Crocellion. I switch in Drago Eerie because it resists it being a dragon type and go for Dragon Rage. I know it's cheap, but it kind of secures us the W, so I'll take it. Although Ice Fang did get me quite low. And Jules' final Pokemon is... <laughs> this sprite's hilarious. From here, we head up to Bill's house and... Uh... What the heck you- Wait, what would happen if I combined myself with Low Punny? This needs to stop! Now! I wish I didn't have to witness that, but at least we get the SSN ticket. Okay, well, thanks Bill, you weirdo. 
You know what I just realized? We haven't done our encounter here yet. So hopefully we get something good. Grovile. Let's go, Grovile. Okay, Grovile could be cool. I'm, I'm excited to see Grovile fusion. We are fusing with Grovile. <laughs> what the heck? I kind of like it. It's kind of cute. It's like it's got moss around it. I don't know. That's kind of... That's actually adorable. All right, Misty, the fire type gym leader with the water surrounding her. Let's see what you've got. So against her first Pokemon, Bastaby, I use Dragon Rage and almost take it out in one shot. We do take it out the following turn as it does no damage to us. In comes Sandwick next and two more Dragon Rages is all it takes to earn us our second gym badge. <gasps> Dragon is evolving. Oh, 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 oh God. Ooh, boys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm down bad. Ooh, Clinkiri is evolving! Oh my lord, is this gonna be good? Yo, okay! I got a fat bunda, still allow it. Rayolu! <gasps> Rayolu. Oh my god, Rayolu low punny fusion. What the heck crazy shit is that gonna be? Okay, am I down bad that for admitting that I cannot wait to see that? Like, oh my god. I don't know. This could be still really cute. Even Baneri Lucario. <laughs> Why does Murbird have an ice glicky? What the hell? Zoroark low pun. Oh, oh. Oh, it's looking bad. Oh, it's looking bad. Oh. This is disgusting. Oh, no, Jules. Not now. Jules leads with Stanlax and I send out Dragawani. A jump kick instantly knocks out Stanlax and Feraleon manages to withstand two. Next in with his Metmander, and that goes down to a mud slap from Ryeri. And finally, in comes Y Kid. Now, this little sneaky bugger tried to take me with it using Destiny Bond, but thankfully, we just don't knock it out, and we can swap over to Growani and quick attack it before it can use Destiny Bond. From here, we head into the captain's room and acquire Cut. But what's really important is our Lukiri is evolving. Oh! Lucani! That reminds me of some Lucusi. I don't know what's wrong with you. How am I supposed to know what type of gym it is? It's got no sign, goddammit. Maybe this guy will tell me. The Lightning American. He's an expert on fighting Pokemon. Oh, well, okay, that. I figured it out. That's actually really bad because my whole team is full of normal types, and this one is a goddamn normal dark type. Urgh. Lieutenant Surge, the fighting champ. No, leader. Leader, fighting leader, not champion. Taito! <laughs> oh, yeah, level 27. Oh, we are grossly underleveled, but maybe Dragoni can get me through this. It definitely can. Okay. Dragoni! Oh, withdrawing. Are oh, you scared, are ya? Heralu? Was that Ryolu Heracross? Oh, we're confused. Oh, yo, that... Why don't we just build up Sword Stance? Ching! Okay, yeah, waste your Super Potions. All good, all good, mate. Waste them all, waste them all. Don't care, don't care. See you later. After taking out Heralu, in comes Hitmonair. And a big jump kick takes it out. This just leaves his first Pokemon, which Brick Break knocks out. Fighting leader, my ass. I did way better with my fighting type. Baby, let's go! We, we got an encounter in here. If this is all done. Well, anyway. Coffer Grigus! Now that could be a really cool fusion. Coffer Grigus was caught. I'll take it. We we're fighting against Grigiri, and unfortunately, Zoani does get poisoned. And you may be thinking, so what? What's the big deal? I'm sure you take it out and win the fight. You're, you're damn right I do. But what happens after the fight is far less favorable. Well, I swear, if something dies to poison, I'm not going to be happy. This is what I get for playing this game on hard mode, apparently. Are you joking? I have been doing so well, and to die to poison? You have to be joking. Oh my 
god. On the way to Rock Tunnel, we run into some questionably named Pokemon. I can't with these names, mate. Squirt Fairy? <laughs> and also Grovile Evolve 2. But before we enter Rock Tunnel, we do manage to catch a War Turtle. Rock Tunnel Encounter. Mill Tank! <laughs> I don't know. I'll, do I want to squeeze on their mutters? What did he say? Hey. Oh. Pokeball. Come on. Stand the ball, Milk Tank. I need you. Let's go! Ah, what the? Lop Tank. Oh, we've done it the wrong way around. I see. Let's reverse it. Holy mother! <laughs> Can this even be shown on YouTube? Is that... Oh, their hands! Their hands! I thought there was some mummy milkers, not hands. I'm gonna... I thought there was some calcium cannons, you know? No! Go to horny jail. And then we'll fuse this with war turtle. That's... Actually, all right, war running. Okay, let's add that, because that's way cooler than Grovile. Am I right? Yeah, that sucks. Getting through Rock Tunnel, Koffer Ani evolves, and then after arriving in Lavender Town, Jules wants to fight us. I swear I just fought you. I don't know what level your Pokemon are going to be either. That's... <sighs> okay. Melani, go. I have no idea what type this is. No, it's flying. Oh, Lord. Okay. We really need levels, desperately. Oh my god, double sword stance. I'm very scared. Gear grind, right? Oh. Okay. No! Clink honey! Jules, I wasn't ready for this fight! Why did you jump me like this? God damn it, Jules! Well, Dragon Rage will at least take it out, right? Okay, thank god. Now, this thing does have Ice Fang, but doesn't matter. Oh, uh, god damn it. Fine, raise my attack though, because we're not going to hit ourselves, are we? <sighs> thank god. Okay. Feral on. Goodbye! It's kind of funny that he has an actual starter Pokemon on his team. Riper Mance. <laughs> Do we just Swords Dance Jump Kick? I think that's probably the play, right? It's probably a pretty... Ch it looks like a Chunky Boy. It just raised its speed stat. Oh, and now it's raising its crit, right? Okay, as long as we hit the Jump Kick... Please hit the Jump Kick. Nice! Okay. Bastabus. Oh, it's got sturdy. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. It's like, please don't have counter or something. Super potion. Okay. All good. Jules, you goddamn menace. Arriving in Celadon City, the first thing I do is go and walk an Eevee around. This was in order to gain a gift Pokemon, which is normally an Eevee, but in this case is a Scizor. Oh, that's really good. Ooh. It's all right. It's not bad. We're told that some shady thing is happening in the sewers. So we head down there to deal with Team Rocket. Oh, we have an encounter down here. Okay, maybe it's something cool. Um, yes, we got Ditto. Oh my God. Okay, well, we'll have to look at that later though. War Turtle evolves into Blastoise and we fuse Blastoise and Lopunny together to get Oh, okay. The other the other one was nicer. The other one was nicer. But you know what? It's probably this is probably stronger, so vision looks like because I am intrigued. Oh god. Ditani. In the sewer we come face to face with Giovanni, and after eventually defeating him, we acquire the self scope. Cool. If you know, you know. <laughs> All right, let's see what gym type this is. Celadon City Gym, specializing in fairy types. Okay, well, I think our team could probably deal with that. Put him up, Erica. 
doof, 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 doof. You're challenged by gym leader Erica. Snumber him. Oh, okay. Cure him. Interesting. Okay. Even though Snumberum lowered our attack on entrance with Intimidate, one single Metal Claw managed to take it out. In next was Volkapuff, who looked epic! And even though this thing looked super badass, two Metal Claws was enough to take it out. Her final Pokemon, Zuiepi, took a couple more Metal Claws as she decided to heal it, but we eventually took it out, no problem. And with Gym Badge 4 acquired, we can head back over to Lavender Town where we can get our next encounter. Arcanine is our encounter? That's awesome! One, two, three. Awesome! We got Arcanine! These Team Rocket Grunts came looking for a prototype of the Master Ball. I'm afraid I was no match for them. They took what they were looking for. I'm truly worried about what such an evil organization could do with such a powerful tool. Hmm. I would guess they are going to catch like the three legendaries and try and triple fuse the three legendaries that would be my guess that's interesting heading down onto route 18 next we get our next encounter mawile okay hey we got mawile that's adorable money oh that's adorable i would i would smash i would smash koga it's time to Battle. All right, Cyani, Lucani, and Blastani. Koga. Wait, I only brought three? Oh shit, I could have brought four. Oh well, I think it'll be all right. Metal Claw. We could even just build up with attack raises from Metal Claw, right? You're gonna give me an attack raise, right? No, okay, that's fine. You're gonna give me the attack raise. You're gonna give me the attack raise. You're gonna give me the attack raise! There we go. But we're gonna get the attack raise, right? Out of all of those Metal Claws, we only got one attack raise. That's crazy. Zywoodoo! Okay, Metal Claw. Oh, sturdy, right. But we get the attack raise. No, we don't. <laughs> Here I am, just begging for the goddamn attack raise on the Metal Claw. Come on, give me... Anatris. Hurt by what? Black Sludge? Oh, Sayani, no! Oh, I should have thought that it had that. No! What was I thinking? Oh, that was stupid. Thing is, these other two have so much health as well. Vulcal and next, we take it down with two Brick Breaks. Sayani was so good! At least we got the soul badge. It was worth it. wasn't worth it. I shouldn't have lost it. Chimchar as an our encounter for this area. Okay, Chimchar as our encounter is not bad. Come on, Chimchar. I really want to use an Infernape Low Bunny Fusion. Let's go! Chimchar was caught. Okay. That is awesome. Heading into Saffron City, we deal with Team Rocket and head over to face Sabrina. Why am I here? Oh, right. I'm gonna go into... Oh! Oh, okay. Wait, we're allowed to go into Celadon now. What the heckin' dog? Shadow Ball on that. And... Brick Break on that. No! Not like that! <laughs> that all happened out of no... What the heck? That was so just random. I hate that. What the hell? That is ridiculous. No. A submission doing crazy. Ah, that makes me so angry. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's got fucking fire jet boosters. It's not horrible. All right, this is for gym badge number six against the dragon specialist Sabrina. Sabrina! Ah! Fletchitina. What the heckin' dog? Okay. Okay, dragon rush. Okay, we take out Fletchitina. Okay, dragon rush. Two magons. 
and down goes the second Magon. Chico gone. Okay, well, that was easy. Three Flygon fusions and a Giratina fusion. Well, that was easy, all right. There is no chance I catch this, right, as my Safari Zone encounter. The only reason I came here was so I could get Surf, apparently, because this is apparently where you get Surf. And I totally forgot about it, but there's no chance I catch this in a Safari Ball, right? Failure. There's no chance we catch Zekrom in a Safari Ball, right? We do! What? No way! We got Zekrom in a Safari Ball! I could have run away! Okay, now... That looks hideous. So I'm gonna pick it, and then we'll do the reverse fusion after. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, no. Now, let's see. Does reverse... Zekrom low punny look pretty cool. What? Yes, it does! From here, we head over to Cinnabar Island and acquire Crocodile in the Burn Down Mansion. Actually looks pretty cool. That ground... ground type? Okay. It has Moxie! Oh, yes! Alright, Blaine. Let's see what you got. I'm Blaine. I'm the leader of Cinnabar Gym. My ghost Pokemon will incinerate all the challenges. Haha. <laughs> you better have Burn Heal. Wait, what? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? Come on, Blaine. Let's see what you got. Gym leader Blaine sent Miss Maney. What the hell is that? Miss May. Okay, it's a fairy type of some sort? <laughs> what is it? Okay, Aquatail then is my only choice. I could not figure out what this is for the life of me. And the only move I had that could deal any damage was Aquatail. Getting low, however, I swap over to Croc Gunny. Okay, it needs a turn to absorb the light. If I crunch, we should do a lot of damage, right? No! Oh, God. What type is this thing? Okay, whatever. We took it out and we get a Moxie boost. The next Pokemon beta goes down to another crunch. Now we get two Moxie boosts, baby! Miss Mavior. What the? That's a really cool fusion, but what type is it? Let's do Power Trip. Future Sight. Interesting. Okay. Crunch. Big Crunch? Oh, Massive Crunch. Okay, but we do need to swap out. Because that Future Sight could be very scary. True Ninja. Ultimately, even though I could die to the Future Sight, I decide to risk it. I think I had Wonder God. It could have had the uh, Shroomish's ability, but I'm pretty sure it had Wonder God based on that. So now we officially have seven gym badge. One more, and then we can go take on the league. We then caught a Nine Tails, and the fusion for that is absolutely incredible. Whoa! Now that's dope! From here, we head over to Mount Ember, where we aim to stop Giovanni's evil plan. What are you doing down there, Giovanni? That's not how the Master Ball works, is it? Wait! He has the other two already? Wait, he's fusing them right here, right now? I didn't realize how serious this was. Giovanni, Zap Mulcuno. There's no way you're calling it Zap Mulcuno. That's ridiculous. They cannot match up against this Pokemon. In fact, there isn't a single person in the world who has the power to stop us. Except for me. Wait, we have to fight Giovanni again? Okay, we're fighting Giovanni. Final Giovanni fight. Holy, what the heckin' dog? I guess we are fighting Zap Mulcuno. AMZ. Articuno Zapdos Moltres. Wait, we have- We're losing someone here. There's no way. Let me milk drink to see- We're losing something here. There's no way. There's legitimately no way. Losing Milani here was devastating, but at least we had Zekani to come in and fusion bolt. We managed to take out the Articuno portion of the fusion, but unfortunately, then Zekani is also taken out. So, sending in Blast Honey, we can go for Surf, which is actually able to hit all three Pokemon. So, in hindsight, I probably should have led with that. However, 
To my surprise, the Zapdos portion of the fusion uses Discharge, almost knocking out the Moltres portion. Unfortunately though, the Discharge got Blast Dunny low enough where another Ancient Power from the Moltres portion would take us out. RIP Blast Dunny. We managed to take out the Moltres portion with Dragawani. The only remaining portion of the fusion now is the Zapdos portion, and Discharge does barely any damage. So. After a couple of returns, we finally take down Zap Molkuno. Oh my god! From here, I head over to Seafoam Islands where I catch an Alakazam. And on my way to catch Zapdos at the power plant, I actually forgot to do my encounter just outside the power plant. And to my surprise, it was actually a Gardevoir. Alright, now the one we've all been waiting for! Gardevoir fused with Lopunny. Is it any good? We can go either way of this. I think we'll end up going the fairy route anyway, but let's see what it fuses into this way. Ooh! <laughs> oh, damn! Guardiani! But I think we're gonna do the reverse. Okay, that's that's probably a bit better in my opinion. Lopvoir. Alright, we're doing Lopvoir. So I was just looking up where we find a Dust Stone to evolve Dewblade into Aegislash so that we can fuse Aegislash with Lopunny, obviously. What's cool is... We can actually hop on the train to Goldenrod, I'm pretty sure. Yes, we can! And then we should arrive in Goldenrod, which is so cool! We're already in Johto! We're in Johto early! And then we can go to the department store. And apparently you can buy uh, evolution stones here. Okay, this guy sells the Dusk Stone. Okay, perfect. One Dusk Stone, please! And now we slap that on Dewblade. And now we have Aegislash! I love Aegislash. Honestly, it's such a cool Pokemon. We're gonna fuse this with Aegislash. Oh, that looks sick! Oh, yo! Aegeani! Whoa! That's badass! Alright, Viridian City Gym. Gym Leader, Giovanni. So it's Giovanni. But what type is it? I heard that the trainers here like bug type Pokemon. Once more you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. I've literally beat you every single time we've fought, mate. So leading with Mappod, I send in Crookunny. And we set up a Stealth Rock's first turn. We knock out Mappod with a Dizzy Punch and get a Moxie Boost. In next is Malother, your mother. I don't know what it is, but it is the other. Moving it out to Aegeonny. Who looks bad ass. Look at that sprite. So cool. And down goes Malotha. Pinodos was super annoying as every time I got it low, Giovanni just used a full restore. And I mean, this time he I did one tick of damage and he used a full restore. But after switching over to Dragoani, we get it low with a Dragon Rush before taking out the following turn with a return. Ariaga! Oh my lord! That is weirdly cool, but shame I'm Dragon Dance boosted, so Dragon Rush, when we hit it next turn, it's gonna one-shot it. One-shot. See you later, Ariaga! Whoa! That was cool, though. I really like that design. And finally, in comes Clefsect. It goes for Bug Buzz, dealing a little bit of damage, but it does drop our special defense, meaning it's gonna do more damage to us next turn. Thankfully, however, we land the Will-O-Wisp and burn it. We take the x and one more Hex should knock out Clefsect, giving us our final Gym Badge. Let's go! Down goes Giovanni for the, I don't know the how many time in this game, but we will take the Earth Badge. Thank you very much. And with that, we can make our way over to the League. Vaporeon! Okay, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do the Vaporeon fusion. Who's the Vaporeon and Lopunny? This is a wet dream. Only because it's like a water type. Obviously. Ooh, shorty got a baddie. Let's do it. The Pokemon League commences. Our first battle is with Lorelei. Leading with Amphla, I lead with Lopvoir, but I decide to make the switch over to Dragoani. We go for a couple of Dragon Dances, raising our attack and speed, before using Return to almost one-shot it. It hits me with a Signal Beam, which unfortunately confuses us, and as she full restores Amphla, we hit ourselves in confusion, dropping down into the red. So I make the switch over to Kofa Ani, landing a Will-O-Wisp on it, burning it. 
but Koffa Ani also gets confused. So I swap over to Lopvoa as she heals it back up to full yet again. A Moonblast does decent damage and Psychic does about the same, but after one more Moonblast, we manage to take it out. Venodal is in next and Psychic does barely any damage to it, but we can outlast it with Milk Drink. We eventually take it out with a Psychic and in comes Rye Pepper. Such an adorable little name. Psychic does barely any damage to it and Earthquake does significant damage to Lopvoir. So I swap over to Krokani and hit it with a few Earthquakes, taking it down. In next was her Kadatic and of course being a Psychic type means we can take it out super easy with a Crunch. Getting another attack raise, we arrive at her final Pokemon. Ryu? Ryu C? Ryu C? I don't know, Ryu C. Thankfully, however, Krokani can take it out with one more Crunch. Normal type Pokemon, okay. That is actually pretty good because um, most of my Pokemon have fighting type moves. Or at least a fighting type move. <gasps> AG Punny or whatever the heck it's called. AG Honey is going to be so good. Oh, yes. Sacred Sword is absolutely going to destroy Heavy Slam. Massive there, mate. Sacred Sword. Goodbye, Lacey. Go, Pom. We manage to take out Gopom with a Sacred Sword and in comes Rykoff. We protect to see what it uses and it goes for Earthquake, so I swap over to Crook Gunny who resists it. Crook Gunny then manages to take out Rykoff with an Earthquake, Tedril in next, I send in Lopvoir, and we manage to take it out with two Moonblasts. But now we're down to his final Pokemon, Porygon. But it stands no chance to the power of Lopvoir's Psychic. Time to take on Agatha. Leading with Pipgon, I send out Lopvoir, who manages to take it out with a single Moonblast. In next was Reshita, and a couple of Moonblasts take that out as well. Axe Raid also stands no chance to the power of Lopvoir's Moonblast, and in comes Draenei. That's adorable. That's such a cool idea as well. They're, they're just, it's like two-headed. Shame I have to destroy you with the moon! <laughs> that is a cool design though. I rate that. Our final Pokemon is Catatina, and we managed to take it out with a couple of moon blasts. Ah. 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 It's Drake. Lance. Drake? As you may know, I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the fighting trainer. You are challenged by Elite Four Lance. Vigoroth. Wait, how did I perfectly guess? Oh my god, I just wanted to use Alaani because we haven't used it yet, but I legitimately just guessed perfectly that it was going to be a fighting type that was super effective. Okay, so I'm going to set it reflect. Does that switch me out? Damn it! Okay, well at least I set up reflect. That's that's a good thing. Just take it out with Earthquake. I do want to use Alaani though, so I will swap back. Bring back out Alaani. Please, do it. Come on. Yeah, that'll do. We waste away Lance's heals as we consistently keep dropping Vigoroth's health with Psychic. We eventually take it out and in comes Rylu. Rylu! <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, I'm gonna swap back because I want to actually use Alaani for a little bit. But then, unfortunately... Did that really just happen? I didn't even get to use Alaani! I- that's a joke! It got switched out and then it got taken out with a final game before it even do anything! They won't be able to use their fighting type moves on a ghost, right? In next was Tentaki, and even though he was outraged, we managed to take it out with a couple of Shadow Balls. In next was Maddal, and with a Burn Hex combo, we managed to take it out, leaving just Togacross. And that design is low-key badass, but it doesn't matter. As we raise our attack for a couple of turns with Dragon Dance, we managed to knock it out with a return. That was really down to the wire. It was a fairy type, and if it had survived that, it would have hit me with reversal and would have one-shot us 100% guaranteed. And with that, we're finally at the champion. Jules, you're going down. Leading with Executiculus, I send in Aegeani and go for Aerial Ace, getting it quite low. He swaps it out the following turn, however, and in comes Janet. 
Ageyani now low, I decide to switch over to Dragoani, but before I could do anything, he switches back out to Executuniclus. Dragoani knocks it out with a few returns after he stalls healing it multiple times. In next was his starter for Rallyon, who is almost taken out after two returns, but barely hangs on, allowing it to get off a superpower, dropping Dragoani into the red. Thankfully, however, we survive and manage to take it out the following turn. But as Ferrollery comes in, I have no choice but to sacrifice Dragoani to get a safe switch into Crookani. We manage to take it out. Three Pokemon left. <laughs> okay, Crunch should do a lot. Ooh, it just hangs on. Uh-oh. Ooh! Okay, 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 okay. Crunch knocks it out. Okay, Drift Door down. Aftermath. <gasps> oh, we survive on six. But an in comes Electriados. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this thing. But it does manage to go down to a quite effective earthquake before his final Pokemon, Genet, comes back in. Genet is the last one. Now I could go for a Crunch here and win, but I kind of want to send out Lopvoir because she's the hottest. She hasn't had the time to shine. I want to give it a time to shine. Go Lopvoir. You beautiful girl, you. And we can Moonblast. Bring the moon down on you! Okay, didn't do as much as I thought it would, but that's okay. And we're out of Moonblast. That's okay. Shadow Ball! Brah! Goodbye, Jeanette. And goodbye, Jules. No, that can't be! You beat my best! After all that work to become Pokemon League champ! My reign is already over. That's right, Jules. Your reign is over and my reign begins. And with that, we've successfully completed the low punny only run of Pokemon Infinite Fusions. If you like this video or if you're down bad like me, hit like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.